Everybody, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. <clears throat> you know I'm a sucker for a big unveiling. I've already showed you this. I don't even know why I did this. Kaboom! <laughs> so this is a little damaged Meiji era Cloisonne. Koro, I think, is the uh, correct term. Now, there were only a couple of pictures of this little thing, which, I mean, you know, uh, it is what it is. I think I paid $12.50 for this bad boy. So we didn't get highway robbed or anything. Um, what do you think? I think this was from the Brothers Gallery. I think we're still going through that box. This should be video three of six, I believe. And I think this is a pretty handsome thing. I believe that's a nice little purple there. You got a nice little purple with a black and blue and some yellow under it. So even though this is a bit damaged, this is the kind of thing that uh, my wife will happily put some earrings or some jewelry or something in, you know? That's, that'll be just fine. And this crack actually goes all the way through it. You can see his blue counter enamel inside there. So I don't know if that's actually maybe a, uh, maybe a casting flaw. Or not a casting flaw, but a uh, firing flaw. That's kind of the way it seems. It doesn't seem like this would have just cracked if you had dropped it. But yeah, you can see right through it. And then the, uh, the kind of weird damage to that counter enamel kind of makes me think that it was a firing issue as opposed to like dropping it or something. See, it's not dented or anything. So yeah, I don't know. But, you know, turquoise blue counter enamel, pretty typical. This is the only one of these little forms that I own. And, you know, I bought it. I, uh, the bid went for basically nothing, so. I really think this one was $12.50. One of these pieces was, like, $7.50. <clears throat> I think it was, uh, $7.50, $12.50, and $21.50 that I paid, respectively, for the three pieces of cloisonne that I got from the Brothers Gallery. And honestly, you know, I mean, even with the damage, first off, I still respect it. I still like it a whole lot. I think it's a beautiful little thing. You can see the gorgeous little wires. I mean, somebody tried so hard on this. You can't tell me that you don't appreciate it at all because there's a little bit of damage on it. I mean, it's still a beautiful little thing. I think all of these are so gorgeous. There's a little bit of sticker remnant there. I apologize trying to be as gentle as possible. I really don't like to dig too much on the surface of a cloisonne or enamels or anything. And then the other thing is we can actually learn from broken pieces. It is super neat to see the inside like workings of cloisonne sometimes. You know I saw a broken Jinbari vase one time and I realized that it, I don't think it was actually Jinbari because it wasn't foil. The vase under it was formed and then covered with enamel, so I don't know, and I think it was a silver vase, I think that's a different technique actually. So it's neat to learn these new things and uh, explore them a little bit, but you can see his cloisons without any enamel. I mean, not that I prefer to be able to see his cloisons without enamel, but, <laughs> but here we are. And yeah, for twelve fifty, I'd have bought that twice for sure. No hesitation. I think it's a super neat little piece. That actually is kind of punched through to the other side, like somebody shot it with a BB gun or something. What is that all about? What have people done to these? I've seen them looking like somebody played racquetball with them. Like I don't, I don't understand <laughs> what happened in their lives that, you know. <laughs> cause somebody to go so hard at it. But yeah, Meiji era cloisonne. That's uh that's one of my favorite things. And we still have one more piece to talk about from the Brothers Gallery. Uh kinda got interrupted because I decided I was gonna give that one piece away. Which I mean, you know, I'm ho I'm hoping somebody like is the least bit interested in that. <laughs> and uh and yeah, I don't know. I don't know man.
I like showing you guys this stuff. I really hope you like looking at it. I hope I can uh, keep buying a little bit of stuff here and there and, you know, maybe get something neat for everyone to look at eventually. <clears throat> I still have a fair few things to show you. I, uh, yeah, yeah, there's always something laying around, isn't there? I think so. I think we'll be okay for a little bit. <laughs> this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I love you guys.